Damien is now a 32-year-old businessman and he's using his authority as an advantage to fulfill his destiny. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Omen review series. Today we're moving along to the third sequel in this series, checking out Omen 3, The Final Conflict, directed by Graham Baker. I went into this movie pretty dry. I didn't know really what to expect coming off the second film. I knew from the cover that he was going to be a little older now. And we actually have Sam Neill playing Damien, which I really liked. But he's now 32 years old. He's a businessman of some type of authority. I never really caught on to what he actually is, but he is some businessman of authority and he's like in contact with the president and on that level. It was kind of a different approach and kind of, kind of an interesting approach, I thought anyway. So without further ado, let's get into what I liked about Omen 3. So first of all, as I said, Sam Neill is playing Damien, which I thought he did a wonderful job. He's an amazing actor. I obviously know him mostly from Jurassic Park, and he's obviously a well-known actor. I could tell that he studied the first two films before they went on filming this movie because he had almost the same attributes and kind of kind of the same style as the kid Damien from the previous films and I thought he did a really amazing job he completely sold me on the part I thought I would be distracted by the fact that it's Sam Neill but it really wasn't a distraction he played it so well that it just worked for me and I really like the story of this film it's actually a very very entertaining movie just like an action-packed kind of horror film um, you're following along Damien and he's of this authority and he's kind of controlling people he's kind of making this whole occult uh, of his own since he's the antichrist and then you have this group of religious people i'm guessing they're christians uh, that have all seven of the daggers they found at the beginning of the movie and they're kind of coming after him it has really cool scenes of them trying to trick damien to kill him and then damien tricking them and turning it over on them and lots of good kills and creative kills just like the past few movies this series so far has not disappointed on the kills and it's very interesting the way that Damien goes about setting up his plan of taking over pretty much and it really unfolded very well I thought and very smoothly across the movie and I really liked the cast of this movie I there was no one besides Sam Neill that I really recognized but I thought they all did an amazing job I thought there was some really good acting all across the board and this movie is following along with that fall vibe that has been the series vibe so far that I really enjoy. The fall vibe is my favorite vibe of horror movies, and that always gets points for me when it has good fall vibes to it. And this movie really does have even more so than I would say Omen 2. Omen 2 did have a winter aspect, which I forgot to mention in my review. So it did have a fall aspect, but it also had a winter. This one was just straight fall, so that always obviously gets points for me. I love the fall setting, love the Halloween setting. I think there's even a few scenes with pumpkins in them, so definitely points for me. Great setting and vibe to this movie. And really getting into what I didn't like about the movie, there's really only one that stands out to me. It did kind of drag in a few spots. I actually, it took me two sit downs to finish this movie. I paused it and then I came back to it a day or two later and finished it. It picks up before it gets too boring to not finish, so it's really kind of a nitpick for me. That's really the only negative I have for this movie. I'm going to give Omen 3 a three and a half stars. It was a very entertaining horror movie and sequel, in my opinion. I actually looked at the reviews on Letterboxd, and this movie kind of gets bashed by the fans, and I don't really know why. I thought it was entertaining. So three and a half stars is where I'm going to put this movie, and I definitely recommend it to Omen fans that you go ahead and watch the two and three sequels. I can't say much further because I haven't watched them yet. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this Omen review series. I will see you in the next one.